Hey guys, Savannah the Spy here. Helium Headquarters put me on this case to figure out what some suspicious atoms have been up to, and you guys are going to tag along with me. But before we go, let's introduce some of the main characters so you have a sense of what's going on. Hi, I'm the Nucleophile. I am extremely electron rich and tend to have a negative charge. I like to attack my enemy, the Electrophile, and push the leaving group out of its place. I usually attack from the backside, that way the enemy least expects it. For an SN2 reaction, the more groups of atoms I have attached to me, the less reactive I am. I'm the Electrophile. I'm extremely electron poor. I hate that the Nucleophile always attacks me and forces my leaving group away. I carry a slight positive charge because of my electron deficiency and that's why the Nucleophile is attracted to me. The Nucleophile wants to take the leaving group's place so that they're more stable. I'm a good leaving group. I'm good at what I do because I'm stable on my own and I don't really need the electrophile for stability. However, I'm sick of that nucleophile pushing me around all the time. Now that you're caught up to speed on the components of the reaction, let's see what they've got going on. Come on! If you come across what organic chemists call a substitution reaction. This is when one group of atoms is replaced with another. There are two types of substitution reactions, SN1 and SN2. It looks like we've come across an SN2 reaction. It's a bimolecular substitution, meaning that the attack of the nucleophile and the loss of the leaving group happen at the same time. Let's check it out. Detecting identification. I know you're probably wondering what just happened, so let's rewind and take a closer look. Here we are again at the beginning with the nucleophile, electrophile, and the leaving group. As stated before, the nucleophile is electron rich, so it has a negative charge. The electrophile and the leaving group are participating in a polar covalent bond. This means that the leaving group is pulling electron density away from the electrophile, causing the leaving group to have a partial negative charge and the electrophile to have a partial positive charge. Now, the negative charge on the nucleophile is attracted to the partial positive charge on the electrophile. Let's see what happens. For a moment, the reaction is in what is called a transition state. The electrophile has too many bonds attached to it, so the leaving group is going to take its electrons away from the electrophile. This allows for the nucleophile to remain bonded to the electrophile. The nucleophile ends up having a neutral charge because it shares its excess electrons with the electrophile. The leaving group now has a negative charge because its electronegativity allowed it to take electrons away from the electrophile. Finally, the electrophile is happy because it has the perfect amount of bonds. One important thing to note is that the resulting molecule is going to end up inverted. This is a characteristic that SNT reactions have. In our example, the nucleophile is going to end up on the left side and the electrophile will be on the right. In real chemistry reactions, this could mean that one bond will move from the front of the structure to the back of the structure. Well, there you have it, folks. I better report back to headquarters to let them know what information we've gathered. See you next time!